In this video, I want to cover moving a course from the Singapore server to the Oregon server. Here I'm in the Singapore server. This is the URL at present at the time of the making of the video. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and move my sandbox course. There's not much in this course. I go into the course and scroll down to settings. At the upper right of the settings, you'll see share to commons. This is the Canvas recommended way to move a course between servers. When I go to share, I'm going to have to set the who can use this resource to public because I'm moving to a new server. The first two items and the third one are restricted to the Singapore server, to a server instance. So I will have to post it publicly. I can delete it once I've gotten the move done. The description uh, is required when posting to comments. I'll just put up demonstrator as I will be deleting this. An image is required. And I'll just uh, grab one of these images here. I do need to remember the name that it gets posted under because that's how I'll go back and find it. And if you were actually posting, you'd probably want to set a grade level. With all of that done, I'll click on Share, and that will share the course to the Commons. It may take some time for it to synchronize into the Commons. But with that done, my course is now, if I go look at the shared items, I'll see that the course I just shared is there. You'll see some others that I've left up there. I'm now going to go over to the Oregon server. This is a URL for Oregon at present. And I'll import my material into a blank course I've created for this uh, video. I'm here in just a home page. Uh, the second item down on the right there says import from commons. So I'll go to commons and I'll search for the name of the course that I posted. So uh, I can type me and there's the course I just put up. So I'll click on that course on the actual the URL is the link name there and then it'll take me to a preview and details page. You can see what is coming over. Uh, there's a bit of preview, uh, one module, a couple assignments, a, a, a quiz. You'll note that there are actually two quizzes there but it's showing only one because the new quiz is are counted as an assignment as seen by the icon. But uh, I'll come back to that in a moment. I'll go to import, tell it I want to import it to my sandbox demonstrator course, and then I'll import. It may take a while to see changes in your course. They do note that. Let me come back to uh, my dashboard and I'll go around back into my course and see where we've gotten to. And the materials are still coming in. Well, there's the, actually, it looks like they've already landed. That's the uh, picture from the Singapore instance. Let's have a look at the assignments. The assignments have come across, but caveat here. Uh, do, you'll need to check what's come over. My rubrics come over. My outcomes have come over. Uh, I didn't have any discussions, but, and there is a, uh, my Classic quiz is here and it's come over. The new quiz is an LTI. Couldn't find valid settings for this link. The new quizzes are not yet transferable through the commons. The new quizzes are actually an external tool and external tools are local to a server. And so the, the new quiz does not transfer through the either through the commons or through an export and import process. Unfortunately, there is no way to move external tools between servers. And so uh, you'll see that I am actually reaching back into uh, my older Schoology material at this point from last fall and importing that material separately as classic quizzes, see the open rocket is a classic quiz, 
and the closed rocket is a new quiz. So classic quizzes will come over. New quizzes will not. As I said during the term, using new quizzes carries some risk because new quizzes are not scheduled to fully land until 2022. Canvas is working on this issue, is aware of this issue, but they also are planning full rollout in 2022. So I've... Um, uh, as usual, by playing with something that's not yet all in place, I have uh, given myself some extra work on that. But if you have classic quizzes, they will come across. You can see that here in my uh, little box. And you'll notice under quizzes, only one has come across, the classic quiz. And the new quiz looks like it came across, but it has failed. And uh, there is no way to bring those across because they are simply local to a server and it is something they are working on. There are a number of other features we're working on for new quizzes and they'll land in 2022. 20, uh, I'm going to be going back to using classic quizzes because I found that my quizzes and tests are basic enough that I don't actually gain any new capabilities with the new quizzes at this point and uh, I'll move back into there will be a conversion tool later to convert our classic quizzes to new quizzes canvas has promised that there will be tools for conversions and so uh, I'll be watching for those but I'll be returning to classic quizzes and there'll be some work I need to do to set those up but that's all there is to it now uh, to remove your course from the commons um, uh, you'll need to come back to your to the Singapore server from where you posted it and then you delete the um, the uh, course like this course I don't really want to leave that up there so I'll go ahead and delete that and that's all there is to deleting it uh, but you can if you want leave uh, if you've got a, a course that you're willing to share you can certainly share a course and leave it in the comments for for others and that's all I wanted to cover today. Yeah. If you do have questions, let me know.